love is true. Just gotta fix your view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life <laughs> everlasting. Only two things. Oh, here we go. Look at him. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, These ladies look like Cohen, walk. All right, so the first stop you gotta make is to get you some bacon over here at the little farmland truck. It's delicious. What do you think? Two pieces of bacon. You got two pieces of bacon. This stuff is good. That's so good. So definitely come check that out. Beauty. What a beauty. Whew. Yeah, he's still down there, buddy. Look at the pepper! It's a kangaroo! Eat kangaroo! They're cold. Do not feed. It's a porcupine. Definitely don't touch him. Oh, no. That's what I'm trying to do. Say hi. Bison. Oh. oh, I'm not gonna do it. Why are you the phone? It's a bowl. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I don't have any feed. I know, I know. I don't have no feed. Oop. So this is Hedrick's Farms petting zoo. Look at the baby goat. Yeah, bite my finger. Dang it, he wouldn't do it for the vlog. Adi, will he do it for you for the vlog? Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. We're just watching him play. There he goes. There goes the speedster. They're about to have a fight. Oh, Riley, why'd you walk in the camera right then? Uh oh. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my buddy Kitty because this is a part that he used to do. He'd come to town and help with this part, which I think is super cool. So go check out his YouTube channel, Rotter Files, on YouTube. Thank you guys. The little starship thing, that was my favorite. That's always my favorite right there. Hey, this is awesome. This is awesome. Shout out to all you vets. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And if you're currently serving, thank you. Hey, poke, poke your head out again. So cool, black car. Challenge. What? What is the sandwich called? Omega sandwich. Omega oh, sandwich, oh, bone G chicken sandwich. You gotta put it together and Ten dollars. So, uh, just want to give the, the parking guy at the fair over here off of plum a shout out because he just goes hey just pull through wherever you can park and look at where we park i'll unlock the car like that's where we parked that yep yep right there <laughs> one thing that i do love about coming to the fair is the people as you're coming in some people were like you know what i don't need these tickets and they hand them to you 
And to those people, you just say thank you and God bless. It's amazing. All right, here comes Cohen in the green lane. Yellow. Yellow? It's green. Oh, there's Lily. Oh, no. Ah, they sent them too soon. So usually this guy here spins. It's broken. It's broken. Let's play Spot Dora. She's right there. Oh! No, I just did it. Hey, now I see her. Oh. Look who found us at the fair. I'm Kermit! Dico! Dico! Y'all, that's a bumper car wheelchair right there that's so cool What do you think? Don't grab it. What it's do you awesome. think? Awesome. All right, you ready, Rue? <laughs> <laughs> So 
somewhere. <laughs> bad ride, bad ride. <laughs> Not a good ride, not a good ride. I hope that you guys enjoyed our fair video. <laughs> it was actually a span of two days. And um, anyways, right now we're sitting in the office. And I'm going to read the day-by-day -day devotion, day-by-day -day devotion book for dads with you guys real quick. And today's is, it's all his anyway. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Sir Winston Churchill. That name sounds really familiar. <laughs> Let's assume you already buy into the idea of tithing. The, the idea of giving 10% of your income back to the Lord. The concept goes back to the Old Testament and is rooted in the fact that it's all God's anyway. We should be glad that he... Let's us keep the 90%. Be sure to set aside a tenth of all your field's produce each year. Deut Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 14.22 The question for today is, when did you start teething? 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 It's not teething. It's T-I-T-H-I-N-G. Tithing? <clears throat> You're likely... Very likely you were an adult, and it took an eye-opening message and some real soul-searching. After a conversation with your wife, you decided together to be, begin giving sacrificially. Good for you. Since then, you have undoubtedly seen God's blessings pour into your lives in un unexpected ways. Maybe not financially, but you've settled into a more contented contented life and gain some new freedoms till til, tithing is a gift from god tithing so i'm saying that wrong i know i am <laughs> the real question today then is this when you begin to encourage or challenge your own children to tithe to tithe it should be an easy conversation to have. After all, your own experience confirms the deep soul satisfaction that comes from trusting God with your finances, with their summer jobs, babysitting, and lawn mowing money, and weekly allowance. Shouldn't your children be tithing, tithing, some? Uh, I'm sorry. So they can experience all the blessings of God's plan for our worldly wealth. What about you? If you're not tilting, tithing, start. If you are, tell your kids about how your sacrificial giving has helped you loosen your grip on worldly possessions. Now, this is something awesome because I financially, I have never been, able, been in the mindset nor, which is a big part of it, in the financial stance uh i always was living above my means so to say so i was spending more than i was making and therefore i financially was not in a place to even offer that kind of a sacrifice but i did sacrifice in other ways without knowing it and this is kind of is kind of fitting perfectly because last night we left the fair and we left the fair late and uh <clears throat> as we're driving through the parking lot I spot an electric scooter and I mean like uh um oh I just lost it a, a powered wheelchair kind of scooter right <clears throat> and it's sitting behind this trailer but I don't see people and as we got closer my headlights brightened it up and then I seen the the older couple sitting there at the trailer just like looking at each other and thinking how are we gonna get this up there <clears throat> So I rolled my window down. I said, hey, do you all need some help? And they go, oh, God, thank you, thank you. Yes, we need some help. The battery died, and we can't get it up there. We've been sitting here for 30 minutes trying to figure out how to do this. Well, I said, let me spin around, get some light on there, and then uh, I'll help you get that on your trailer. So we did. And this leads me to 
my sacrifices that that took some time away from me and me i would do it again i do it a hundred times again i i would i would that's that's how i've i've done my thing so anyways what i'm saying is that from the beginning the parking you guys seen we got a great parking spot and then we moved into well we were running behind we we're late it's late at night all so that we could help that couple get their scooter back on the trailer god is amazing he planned every little bit of that he deserves credit for every little bit of that it was amazing thank you god thank you thank you anyways this is a long vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video have a great night and god bless <laughs> right there <laughs> Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fixed in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die